How are you guys doing today? This is a uh, chest workout with Fox Bennett. That is my name, Fox. And basically, we just started out with incline barbell bench press. And I like incline barbell more than flat bench because it's a longer range of motion for the chest. And as you can see, I'm very weak uh, for incline barbell. I've always been very weak with incline barbell. But yeah, we just did about three sets of eight to ten reps. I believe I put on a five after this. I didn't record that set though. Yeah, I'm definitely not strong on incline. Yeah, after we finished this, we just did a uh, incline dumbbell. I did about eight to ten reps again. I think I actually only hit this for like seven. I believe I, on my like next set though, I hit it for like eight, I think. I don't know. It's weird. I feel like as I do more sets with dumbbells, I actually get stronger. It's kind of weird. But yeah, I like uh, incline dumbbell a lot. It's a really fun exercise. And I usually try to go as slow as I can on the way down in the last like one to two reps. And now we're just using this machine. I believe I did like four to three to four sets with like eight to like 10 to 12 reps so it's more on the higher sets and this is when I start getting pretty filthy pump you know you already know the shirt's gonna have to come off soon oh there we go yeah um so now we're just doing some cable flies just trying to like, get some blood into there now we're up since we're all done with our compounds we did three compounds three isolations and yeah so this was like just a warm-up set uh, I normally try to stick to like 15 reps I think I did about 20 reps for this one though um, yeah, it's cable flies. I don't know anybody that does not like cable flies. Yeah. After this, this is a new machine in our gym. Just kind of like a pec deck machine. It's not as good as a pec deck, but it gets the job done. You just gotta really focus and keep your back flat on the bench or on the seat. Make sure that your traps don't come off because if they do, then you're gonna be using a lot of front delts. Yeah, just really squeeze it. I like how my like elbow kind of goes down because that helps me like hit the chest more and front out less. I don't know, it's just something I do. And to finish off the isolations, we just got a incline dumbbell fly. I like to go really light if I'm doing it towards the end. If I do it towards the beginning, I'll usually do about 30 to 35. And yeah, I just really like to go deep until I feel like it's unhealthy for my shoulder. And yeah, um, just do as many as I can really I don't really count I just try to really exhaust the chest and just feel the like squeeze at the bottom that's really what widens out your chest and gives you that thick look and just finish it off with some little pushes with the weight and last but not least uh, just finishing it off with two sets of dips to failure I don't know why I do two sets of dips to failure a lot after chest, but it's kind of just like a, I don't know, it's like a really basic thing to do, I guess, I don't know, but if you guys like this video, uh, please like and subscribe, and comment below for any video recommendations if you have any ideas for me, alright, thank you, I hope you all have a great day, alright, bye.